What's up guys, this is Tweak Reviewer 18 and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom uh, Respring boot logo. Now, this is not uh, a custom boot logo for like when you turn your phone on, this is a custom Respring boot logo. Let me show you here. I currently have the Evasions, or the Evaders logo as my boot logo. And there you go, see? The Evaders logo is right there crisp clean everything now I should point out a couple things number one you do need uh, certain dimensions for the image it needs to be 129 by 158 pixels uh, and it needs to be a transparent background or a black background if you have a black iPhone or a white background if you have a white iPhone um, besides that there's not much that needs to be done uh, to the image it just needs to be transparent and needs to be 129 by 158 pixels uh, for the frame of it. Uh, really nice, really simple to set up. So let me show you it right here. So first thing you're going to need is iFile. So once you're in iFile, you want to navigate to the var folder um, and then you'll want to find stash and then themes dot and then it'll just have a random set of numbers and letters depending on your device. Now this folder is where all of your themes for Winterboard are stored. So this is going to be a Winterboard theme so you can easily turn it on and off. So what you want to do next is edit plus you'll want to add a folder. You can name it whatever you want. I already have a folder created called Evasion Boot Logo. So open that up and then you'll want to create another folder called Bundles inside of it. it needs to have a capital B there. Go in there and then you'll need to create another folder called com.apple.progressui. Make sure progress and UI are capitalized. Once that's done, you'll need to add the file, the image that you want in there twice. What The reason why you need it in there twice is because you need the default one. And then you also need the one to know that your device, or the one that you need in case you have a white device. Uh, so that way it shows up black you'll want to have both of them in there regardless because it can have some weird errors if it doesn't. Uh, I've had mine go into an infinite boot logo if it didn't have it in there before, which is weird. Um, so once that's done, once you have them imported, then that's it. All you do is you go into settings, scroll down, go into winterboard, select themes, and then it would be right there. It should be the top one unless you moved it around. Evasion boot logo, you respring, check it off, respring, wait for it to load, and there it is. Just like that, you have your own boot logo, uh, anything you want can be right there. Uh, that's about it for this, there's really nothing else that I need to go into. Again, great, uh, great to do if you really want a boot logo like that, which... I've always wanted to edit that and actually one thing I forgot to mention if you power down your device once you power down your device once you turn it back on it'll actually show that boot logo again it's not just for uh, your respring screen it's also for your loading screen however it will initially show the Apple logo then it will show whatever you have for well, here, let me just show you. So see, it shows the Apple logo. And then once this is loaded, then it will show my... Uh, so he, see, here's the Apple logo. So once this is loaded, then it will show... Then it will show my boot logo. And then, once it's done with the boot logo, which it is now done, don't worry, my phone wasn't hacked or anything. Once it's done with the boot logo, then it will show that logo again. There we go. There's the logo right there. Great. Awesome. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Again, I am TweakReviewer18, and if you like this video, uh, check out all my other videos. They're great. They're as high of quality as this video is. And uh, if you enjoy all those videos and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's it. See you next time. Bye.